Hey! <laughs> Hello! Hi! Sorry for the delay. Uh, I, I was... <laughs> How's everyone doing? Uh, I... <laughs> My Streamlabs chatbot, the, the authorization token wasn't working, and I was sitting here for eight fucking minutes trying to do the uh, I'm not a robot, like, quiz test thing. I'm like, click, it's like, show me, like, tell me all the the boxes with fire hydrants in it, I'm picking it, I kept, fa kept failing it. Apparently I might be a robot. <laughs> it's like, no, that's wrong, now show me all the boxes with the, the crosswalks. And stupid but we're back we're working how's it going uh nevermore so i figured out your name i get it now it's not never Riam. i'm gonna call you nevermore because i realize that's what your twitter handle is <laughs> ah goodness goodness um how was my weekend weekend is good i worked a little bit made some money with which to buy new games and hopefully entertain y'all um and that's about it i played some games got a christmas tree you've returned oh hey i was just um i was just saying uh i don't know if you if you heard uh you're nevermore i understand now it's not never Riam, so i'll call you correctly according to your twitter handle um, I played games, I bought games. No, I didn't buy games. No, I made money to buy games. Sorry. It's taken a second to get going this morning. Um, how was your weekend? Uh, while I'm asking that, what... What do we want to play today? I think I'm going to do Sunless Sea. We had a great time doing... Doing community activity stuff last last week i was gonna start a new game today but i really feel like i should it, at the very least finish yeah sunless sea i feel like i should at the very least finish my current captain let's finish the current captain before we before we move on to something else I think that's important. Continuity's sake, you know? I'm glad to hear it was all right. Okay. Uh continue. I guess continuing is the only thing we can do. Grocery shopping, huh? Ah, oh, you're also in this on the sea. That's good. It's good to hear. You, get, you, you make anything special? You grocery shopping for any particular reason or just, just need your general groceries? Um... Okay, that's right. Last time we were here, we found the Utter Shroom. Um, our Blemigan Gallivanter does not want to go, does not want to go into port or whatever. We got a pretty decent crew. Well, we don't know how decent they are. We have a crew. Um, no shops here. Have I talked to the irrepressible cannoneer yet? I cannot recall. Kids' dads coming to visit and they all have big appetites. Ah, I got so you gotta stock up. You gotta stock up. Make sure everyone's fed. I get it. Smart. Full bellies are happy bellies. Um All right. Uh, I don't want to invite them to dine yet because apparently I need some stuff. I need fuel. 
Oh, I need fuel because they want to like do things. Okay, I can't can't do that yet. Um, I can improve my iron with secrets. My iron's actually okay. Um, I can't tell her about her father yet for whatever reason. We need a strange catch. So that means I need to fight a jellyfish at some point. Not gonna proposition her. All right, what's the mechanics deal? He can increase increase veils. He's also a proposition, a potential propositioner. Um, and then didn't we? Oh, we didn't find this yet. A place of candles and bells, chapel of lights, a northern church where no sin is too terrible. It's very complacent. Um, well, I don't know that there's anything to continue doing here, to be honest. Actually, I forgot we can move this. Move this up here. Because we don't have the firkin of prisoner's honey. I wonder where I buy that. I can't remember. I feel like I found... I found a firkin of honey. I just can't remember if it was prisoner's honey. Um, where was the prison? Was it station three? Now I don't recall. All right, well, I don't have a whole ton of fuel. So I think we should just sort of head... Let's head northwest. Let's sort of check out some of this area. Right? Our hull is also very low. So yeah, let's go back. Also, I'm using the wrong mouse. Hold on. Here we go. Oh yeah, Nevermore, you haven't played this before, have you? Uh, or you haven't, you haven't been with us during our playthrough, at the very least. Wait, what is this? Discovered the Reef of Roses. It's like floating petals of some sort. Hmm. Yeah, this game is super neat. It's very... Very story heavy. The false stars above are feral amber like tiger's eyes. Stamford's expanse, named for the one who lost his child to cats. Yeah, it's, um, it's very sort of thought-provoking, methodical. There's lots of UI, there's lots of reading. I'm not gonna fight that. Um... Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Ooh, what is this? Discovered Visage. I've heard of Visage. Oh god, this guy sees me. Oh, he's shooting off flares. Oh man. Alright, yeah, I don't want to fight him. I want to see if I can dock at Visage real quick. Um, so the idea here, uh, is that, um, it's like, it's a roguelike, um, London, like, Cthulian Nightmares came out of the sky or whatever and sank London. So, we're in an underground ocean. Um, oh shit, I gotta be careful. Alright, good, he's going that way. Um... The other, the the main world still exists up on the surface in the sun, but this is the sunless sea underneath, and there's just terrible Cthulian, Cthulian nightmares down here. And it's like the world is sort of divided between the Unterzee, which this is called, and the regular sea. Everything that happens below the surface instead of an S, it's a Z for whatever reason. Ah, dwarven gamesmith, my friend. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out. I, uh, I hope the rest of your, your Fallout playthrough went well. Um, I'm, uh, I'm really, I'm, I, I was, I was really excited to see that you were playing some Turing Test. That's, uh, that's been on my list for quite a while. Uh, 
So I'll have to stop back in maybe on Saturday when you uh when you play around with it later on. Um Valandres! Welcome, buddy! Yeah, 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 I'd love to check it out. Um, I would love to check it out. It looks cool! And I, I like doing puzzle sort of style games, uh, on stream. Um, so for any new, any new friends here, I'm, uh, I'm doing Sunless Sea. I just found a new port of Visage. Uh, sorry, Nevermore, I know I was explaining, I was explaining how this game works, uh, to you. So it's a, um... Uh, it's a roguelike. Your your crew can can lose their minds and they'll get terror, and you have to keep them uh, fed and you have to keep fuel in your ship and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, it's it's super neat. Well, Andres, thanks so much for that follow. Much love. Good to see you in here. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday morning, um, or Monday whatever time it is for you. Uh, all right, so we found uh, this is the port of Visage, where faces may not be naked, except one, a stone monument the size of a village church, serenely gazing upwards, flourishing of years. Uh, okay, uh, let's get a port report. A departing merchant gives you a confused account of crocodiles and honey cakes, and something about ear blockage? To this you add your own impressions about the street layout close to port and the types of commerce here. When the lights are especially bright, it's possible to make out the details of the profile of that great stone face. So, we grab reports of each of the different ports that we go to. We bring that back to London, or, well, sunken London, or fallen London, or whatever it's called. And, uh, we build up, um, uh, loyalty with the Admiralty. Um, so, that's the idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Valandre, so, so Raffle, um, if you have the quarks, Raffle will allow you to buy a ticket. Um, so, I, I don't know, I don't remember if you've been in here since I started the quarks thing, but if you do, uh, exclamation point quarks, you can see how many you have. Um, you get them for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, quarks. Quarks instead of points. Oh, but you should have more, um, because you just followed me. Because you just followed me. <laughs> uh, it's 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 being weird about how it gives them away for whatever reason. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Uh, it hasn't refreshed yet in my in my Steam thing. I'll give you some. You don't have enough to buy any yet, but uh, I'll make sure you get some. Uh, let's put the Blemigan ashore. I'm not sure why he'd want to go ashore though. A Blemigan is oddly shy. It sidles onto the quay with obvious reluctance. It puts on a burst of speed to hide under a damaged, discarded mask. Resting in a refuse heap with fish heads and broken tackle, the bulging-eyed shell gives it confidence, if not grace. It parts at speed, bouncing into a buoy waiting for repairs, recoiling off an unused engine. So I lost one of my docile Blemigans. Um, I've sewn Blemigans on Visage. Oh, interesting. So I can spread them among the aisles, apparently. Blemigans abroad. You have graciously transported Blemigans to this many islands. Interesting. Okay. So Blemigans, I have a, a Blemigan Gallivanter. It's basically, um, it's a little pet mushroom that drew on a mustache to appear older. <laughs> Chase your Blemigan from the engine room. A fluting approximation of a Zaylor's shanty stops the moment you enter. Engineers glance sheepishly at you, pointedly looking away from the cooling fire. Blemigan perches on someone's shoulder, curled tight into a small ball. It waves its tendril meekly when prodded. <laughs> so he just causes silliness on my ship for whatever reason. Uh, and apparently I can sort of, like, spread them around. Uh, so let's go ashore. Once I set foot on Vistas, I may be here for a little while. Hmm. Okay. All those who enter must play their parts. The sign is visible only after you've crossed the threshold. On the lower slopes, stone buildings, flat roofs, archways, 
in the architecture there lingers a memory of lotus and palm frond. The hill above is a face forever looking up at the ceiling of the Untersee. No one inhabits its cheeks or the hollows of its eyes. One may not wander visage at will. So we have to check in at the customs house. All visitors must pass one by one through a room guarded by a person in the mask of a moon moth. Hmm. So I'm not going to try this because it's said that naked faces are not allowed. I can choose masks. Let's, uh, let's talk about the significance. Moon Moth explains. Each mask declares a different intention towards the denizens of Visage and must be accompanied by suitable behavior. The frog is for visitors who, though perhaps clumsy and unfamiliar with local etiquette, have come in under in order to observe local ways and to make uncouth comments about them. The locust of those who seek profit in visage and would carry away as many goods as possible. You prompt about the bat. Moonmoth hesitates. Bat is an ill-omened visitor, sent as a messenger or as spy. Bat always dies. Hmm. Uh, frog or locust... <laughs> Frog sounds most like me. Locust sounds like the best gameplay option. I think... I think we're gonna go Frog. Moonmoth lifts the mask and places it over your head. The eye holes are large and they are fitted with spectacles. These improve your view of the environment, though you must look bulb-eyed from the outside. There's also a mechanism attached to the mouthpiece, which magnifies any sounds you make, even your breathing. You start to thank the Moon Moth, and it comes out as a booming croak. May you profit from your visit in knowledge, says Moon Moth. Its wings fold neatly over its back. Okay. So I can visit the Library of Parts, visit the Flood Court, end the performance, and leave the island. I can't do that yet. Um, library? Library seems like a good way to go. A room of heavy stone guarded by a golden statuette of a woman with outstretched arms. The scroll niches assorted to correspond to a variety of masks. The jackal and the lioness, the crocodile and dung beetle. A woman in the mask of a lotus blossom is standing at a lectern reading in silence. Hmm. Moonmoth stands to one side as my escort and tour guide. Uh, I think the purpose of the room... Oh, I can also attempt to steal, though I do not have a high veil quality up here, which has to do with deception, so that's probably not a good idea. Moonmoth explains, people think it means something like library of fragments, but this is wrong. The parts in question are like parts in a play. This is where the denizens of Visage come in order to learn how to perform their masks more accurately, more completely, with a truer spirit. Perfect Dungeon Master voice. Thank you. Thank you very much. That theater degree isn't going to waste around here. <laughs> Let's study them. Taking the nearest, you read it aloud, for guarding against the loss of the heart. Moonmoth takes it from you, rolls it tightly, and returns it to its niche. There are as many ways of guarding against the loss of the heart as there are different masks, it explains, in that same light and in different voice. <laughs> that, this is a good game to do that with um but that's uh I've, I've said before when i've been doing this this let's play um this game will not be my always game just because it does take a lot of energy and <clears throat> a lot of uh you know it, it's it's not great on the throat to stream this game for six hours a day five days in a row you know what i mean um but it is fun. It's a nice departure from my more action-oriented stuff. Um, so I don't know if that was uh, helpful. I guess let's go to the Flood Court. The Flood Court is a long stone room with two ranks of columns on each side. Currently, the court is ankle-deep in water, though water stains on the stone show that the flood has often reached higher, sometimes up to the height of your waist. The flood, or sorry, uh, it is a raged niche at the far end of the room sits a statue of a man with the head of a ram. He holds a jar from which water flows out onto the floor. Let's ask about the purpose. 
From a corner, Moon Moth picks up a graduated stick. He shows you how a person standing at the end of the room may dip the stick into the water and use it to measure the water level at a pre-selected point, and how the measurements are compared with measurements written on a calendar. If the water level does not match the calendrical position, an assembly of pipes and drains is used to adjust it. It used to be, says the moth, the water rose and fell of its own accord, and the people before, the people before, wrote down what height it reached. Now the water is still, but thanks to their actions, we can replicate the rise and fall so as still to be pleasing to the god of the flood. He completes this exclamation with a half-body bow towards the statue of the ram deity. God of flood. Hmm. The map in this? Yeah. And so, your captain can die. I lost one captain already. And it has, like, sort of roguelike legacy stuff where it's like you can pass on parts of your first playthrough onto your next and so on. So I chose to save my map. Um, I can't show it to you right now uh, until I leave this place. Show Opish enthusiasm for this wonderful indoor pool. All right, so since I'm the frog, it can make an uncouth uh, whatever about this uh, statement. Um, show Opish enthusiasm. I mean, let's show... No, but wait. I'm supposed to make uncouth comments. That's the proper way for me to do my thing. All right. Moon Moth watches inscrutably while you talk about other bodies of water that have impressed you more than this one. Deeper, clearer, colder, more densely populated with fish. Other denizens move away from you and towards one another. Your social function is well performed. Ah, see? See? Expertise in parts. I pay attention. I'm a good frog. So hold on. Let me go back to the library of parts. Maybe don't study them. Hmm. <laughs> I'm the best frog. <laughs> Write notes in the margins. I don't know if that would help me. Moon Moth is startled. Apparently no other frog has gone so far as to attempt to deface the library's holdings. Gets the pen away from you, expostulating. Later you find it writing down a record of what you just did to be added to the library of parts, a recollection of what can be expected from frogs. I've added to what frogs are known to do. Hmm. So I'm allowed to leave now. Or I can trade masks. Hmm. Should I try another mask? It draws you aside into a closet in the customs house. Had enough of visage, it tells you frankly. Here, you take my mask and pretend to be me, and I'll trade in the visitor mask and get on some departing ship, get my life back. Its face, now know you see her face, is aging but unlined. A lifetime of never needing to use a facial expression. Oh, now I can be the moth. Interesting. I can visit new places. Visit the house of the chief geometer. Visit the temple of Apis. Or visit the side of the face. Okay, so I'm in good favor. So maybe I'll go to this one. Hmm. Oh, I can... So all of them are the, the same. Uh, I'm going to go to the side of the face. It's a pilgrimage by the inhabitants. You must, of course, wait until your work with this day's group, crop of frogs, and locusts is complete. It would not be suitable to bring them along. Ah, interesting. Hmm. I'm not going to deface the stone. 
That's not my role. I can observe a lion. I don't know what lions are supposed to do. I don't have enough pages to instruct the frog. Make a try up. A 36% chance does not sound great. Um, I'm not going to kill the bat. I can't remember what bats were supposed to do. What were bats supposed to do? Oh, it said they usually get killed. Right? It said they usually get killed. But why? Because they do... They do... They act as spies? I think I should kill it. Ah, oh, God, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Do I observe the visiting lion? Lion? I am curious what lions are supposed to do. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Let's observe. Don't kill it. Okay, I didn't. You contemplate the lion for some time. There is an arithmetic sequence to the count of vows that it performs to each feature. The eyes, the nose, each lip. It is hard to know whether Lion is meant to be her worshipper or her lover. Perhaps the two functions are not very distinct. When at last the Lion's bows are complete, it passes you with a slight snap of its mask jaws. It was rude of you to stand there watching. The Moth watches visitors. It does not watch citizens. To do so has violated the strictures of both your roles. Ah! I didn't know that. I didn't know the Lion was... Yeah. Oops. Um, let's go to the chief geometer. Each morning, the man in the cobra mask draws lines in the mud flat with a pointed steel rod. This apportions to each inhabitant a small trapezoidal area from which to harvest mushrooms and to scrape salt. No plot is ever preserved from one day to the next. <laughs> Oops, he's right. The man is the chief geometer, the keeper of directions, master of land measures, and sea measures. Hmm. Oh, well, goodness. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, wait. There's one. Now you have been invited to his home, at the time customarily appointed for him to receive those who are not his equal in rank, yet not so far beneath him as to deserve to be ignored. What ceremonial gift will you bring? A necklet of lapis beads. Alright, so... He makes lines in the ground... To decide who gets a trapezoidal... To, like, delineate trapezoidal areas where citizens can, what, uh, get mushrooms and scrape salt? He's a cobra. I don't think he needs a poem about snakes. I don't think he needs a comb. Two honey cakes? Alright, I think my options are two honey cakes or a necklet. I mean, rats. Cobras like to eat. Oh, I can't do that one. I think I'm going to do necklet of lapis beads or honey cakes. Lapis beads it is. He gives them to a servant with orders that they be crushed and the powder made to pigment, pigment and the pigment used for painting. It is uncertain whether this is a deadly insult. You aren't thrown out of the house at any rate. Alright, well, I've gained more. More expertise. Hmm. Let's go to the temple, I guess. In the center of the temple is a black bull with a white diamond on its face. It is tied in place with heavy ropes and it's wounded in the thigh. From this wound, it bleeds copiously without dying. Priests gather around the bull, capturing its blood in cups. I offer to sell them a new undamaged bull. 
Alright. Well. I don't think I should observe. Because these people sound like they live here. Leave a respectful token. Be right back, no problem. Man, I'd like to make notes. Uh, I don't know. Is this a port report? The priest would be suspicious of anyone else who did this, but you as Moonmoth often have a need to narrate the rituals of visits to newcomers. The explanations in the Library of Parts are not suitable for strangers, and therefore you are expected to compose your own. Alright. I got intriguing snippets. Enter the hollow... Okay. Uh, hollow of the ear. It is a place of still greater pageantry. This is a journey of several steps and may conclude your current visit. Ooh, okay. This is, I guess this is what we're doing. It is a festival day. The great stone face has been illuminated from forehead to chin with blazing torches so that the profile is visible from the side more clearly than you have ever seen it. Flourishing of years is awake, says the genderless figure in the crocodile mask. Um... I can bring a flare, which I only, I just happen to have one. Hmm. Kind of want to bring in a flare, but I feel like they're going to realize I have a flare when I do something with it. You know? It is a risk to bring it, but it would also be a risk to go without. Conceal the flare in the folds of your robe and fall into the procession. May your sins weigh as stone, says the man in the jackal face, as you fall in line ahead of him. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> he saw me. The road you follow leads up through switchbacks along the side of the face, and finally to the ear of flourishing of years, and into the cave that is her ear. The tunnel bends back on itself, and all lights have now been extinguished. There's nothing to guide you but the hand of the person behind on your back and the movement of the person in front of you. The one who walks beside you wears a bat mask. Fortunately, the floor of the tunnel is very smooth and presents no stumbling blocks. Sound carries strangely in this place, however. Sometimes you cannot hear your own footsteps, and sometimes a breath comes back to you audible from some place ahead in line. Uh, I think we're just going to continue. Yes, let's continue. Footsteps of the people are steady and synchronized, and you go together. For how many years has this been done, and for how many will it be done in the future? Watch your step here, says Batmask to you in an undervoice. Its accent is the accent of Wolfstack Docks. Floor is about to get squishier, and sure enough, it does. I'm currently carrying a full air and brave. At last, the tunnel opens out. You and all the other con congregants, um, congregants, spread out in a cavernous space. A voice speaks in the darkness, a ritual preparation. Here at the New Year, we gather under one mask of flourishing of years. Her face is tuned to the gods. Protected by her mask, we may remove our own. Protected by her script, we may speak outside our parts. Here and there is the sound of people fumbling with ties and strings. Your own face feels different with the mask off. Um, I'm not going to fight the urge to giggle. Hmm. Wait and listen. It sounds very much like, uh, this one at the bottom, but let's do wait and listen. You move stealthily through the dark, hearing one knot of conversation and then another. The secrets exchanged do not offer much leverage. You can't see the owners of the secrets. Here and there, you catch the smallest fragment of something that might serve you a future occasion. The memory of a voyage east, half rumor about the Canarian coast, muttering about the Admiralty. Okay, 100, 100 fragments. Hmm... I mean, 
All right. I don't really want to get kicked off the island. I kind of want to do it according to the right thing, you know? Because this, this island's interesting. I want to be able to come back here and maybe learn more about it. At the end of the hour, there comes a woman with a feather of shimmering silver, which she tucks into your hand. Symbol of the innocent heart that will not be eaten by the jackal. Okay, cause, probably because the jackal was the one that was watching me, knew I had a flare, and I didn't use it. Then a bell rings, and the time of speech is over. You all begin to put your masks back on. It is possible, I not know for sure, that in this cover someone has exchanged a mask with someone else. It is an, it is an orderly and perfect line that emerges again from the ear of flourishing of years. If anyone watches from above, they must surely be satisfied. Alright, so I'm nine. Respecter of the Sacred Mysteries. I got a, a captivating treasure. Oh, if I've made a will, I can I can send this to my next captain. And I gained a secret. All right. End your performance and leave the island. When the other citizens are distracted, you find your way to the familiar customs house and rid yourself of mask and robe. There is satisfaction in laying aside a role well performed. Cool. I like it. I'm glad we did it. But now we must leave. Um, away we go. Back to the north. That was a cool island. I like that island. I am concerned about the status of my hall. Like, if I get into one bad fight, shit could go south real quick. Real, real quick. I'm also kind of getting low on fuel, so let's keep the lamp off. That's going to cause a little bit of problem with our terror. A little bit of problem with our terror. It's very dark out here. I don't like it. Oh man, I want to kill that jelly floor though. Twenty-five hull strength. Wait a second. This is different now because I've been to Visage. Man, I want to scoop it up, though, for the strange... Oh, I gotta do this. This is what happened previously. Because I had not been to Visage. And it just sort of faded away, and I thought I saw, a, like, a face. It looks very like Flourishing of Years, the grand shrine face of Visage. Something about the eyes, the sternness of the mouth. Perhaps only that it stares the roof, just as Flourishing of Years does. Now it dissolves. All right. I got a Z story. It's not exactly what I would have wanted, but I had to pick it, you know? I had to know. All right, shit's too expensive at the, the Giannotti Harbor, so let's continue north. Let us continue north and see what we shall find. I 
should be able to take this guy out with one hit. There we go. In the dark, no less. I don't even need my lamp. Um, I don't need supplies. Alright, just got some fragments. Fragments are good. They help me get those secrets. Alright. Almost there. Almost back to fall in London. What's Mutton Island again? I don't remember what's here. Okay, actually, let's... I should be okay to stop here and still get back. Um... Wait, can I not... Oh yeah, I can. Um, once the Sybil Fishing Village was a part of the London suburbs, before London fell and the waters rushed in. Hmm. I can pick up a wretched mog. Some sort of cat. Uh, I can put a Blemigan ashore. Uh, let's put a Blemigan ashore. Fisherman watches the violet shape scurry off down the beach. Tain't right, she says severely. Tain't natural. Worse than dandelions. <laughs> Alright, well. It's all my blemigans. Except for this guy, but I can't put him. He's my friend. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work. Canate ships putting it to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Excuse me. Alright, got another report. Can buy some fuel. 20 echoes. That seems... Welcome back. Welcome back, Nevermore. Um... I'm now at Mutton Island, just seeing what I can do before I head back to London. Um, I don't really think I need drinks. Let's wander to the shore. You turn and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says, I have a story for you. Hmm. Oh. No, I have stories for you. He has experienced horror and wonder, but so have you. And your tale is so much the fresher. You wrestle with each other's histories, until at last he concedes. Here, he says, this is where it all began. With the astronomer and the ephemerid, uh, ephemerids. Ephemerides? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that word. Ephemerides. Not sure what it means. Either way. Okay, so I talked about the story and tale of terror. I've lost some terror. And I got some fragments. Cool. Do I want to get the cat? I know... I know Wine and Game Pairing wants me to pick up the cat. A wretched mog. Yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. Um, I mean, I don't think it hurts to have it. Let's grab it. It jumps down from your arms and disappears into the darkness of the ship. An hour later, five brutally executed rats are found on the foredeck. Appoint your new mascot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Its perpetual ill temper does not endear it to the crew, but it does make it an effective ratter. Um. Okay. Well, that's cool. I have no problem having it, but I'm not going to equip it right now because the. The mushroom, I like, it gives me mirrors and pages, and I don't need iron, so I'm going to keep the mushroom. Maybe it, I can use it at some point in the future.
Always choose cat, huh? <laughs> Always choose cat. Unless you have a pet mushroom. Which drew a mustache on its face to look older. Home sweet home. Oh yeah, they can be pets. He's a funny little guy. Entertain your Blemigan. You pull out your second best chart and several pens. The Blemigan squeaks and bounces over, upending an ink pot in its excitement. You are ignored for several hours. When you return to find it on your pillow, snoring quietly, your map has three new islands, a note reading simply, here are lions, and a drawing of, well, it looks a lot more like a vast spider than a lion. Thank goodness there's nothing like that at Z. I gained some terror. Did it actually add anything to my map? Alright, doesn't look like it. Just added terror to me. Oh. Alright, well this is... Alright, that's because I'm running out of fuel, but that's okay, because I'm already at back at port, so I don't need to do that. We're already back. It's like the dancing mushroom Undertale. I haven't played Undertale. I know it's supposed to be a special experience and all that, but... I don't think I'm gonna ever actually play it. I was watching a little bit of, uh, Bread Machine Go play it, though. Um... I don't think I have anything on my ship that matters to customs, so let's just let him... Let's just let him search. Oh, great. And it got rid of my one suspicion that I had, because there was nothing there. Alright. Um, okay, my terror goes down to 50, because I'm home. And... Let's see here. Let's collect messages. Okay, we got someone that wants to sign onto the crew. Um, have a free evening. Let's let's see who wants to sign on. Um, I don't actually see anyone who wants to sign on. Maybe in London. Oh yeah, here we go. Sensible sailors are looking for a safe run to the tomb colonies, or at least a sane run to the southern archipelago. Uh, archipelago. Need to buy drinks, throw on the fees. Alright, so for 30 echoes, I can get some more crew. Oh wait, we got this one. I can get... Alright, so I have more doctors, but I already have a doctor. Um, Alright, five echoes gets me one. Let's do that. And I lost some terror. I mean, eight crew seems okay. I don't. I don't. I don't even know if I need to spend thirty to get more. Um, let's turn in all of our stuff at the Admiralty. Submit the reports. All right. Got some echoes. Um, got some. All right. So that's the Uddershroom one. So I'm just turning in my reports to the Admiralty. Um, the reports of the different places I've been. Um, and I just, I gain favor with the Admiralty, which allows me to get, like, cheaper, uh, hull repairs and such like that, and opens up new story possibilities. I'm just always checking to make sure, like, nothing's special. Usually you get, like, one fuel, you get some favor, and you get some echoes, which echoes are your, um... Echoes are, are your currency. Yeah, under, I, I know Undertale, like, does some very interesting things in terms of gameplay. Um, I don't know. Art style, art style really matters to me. It doesn't have to be AAA. Like, this obviously is not AAA, like, 3D or whatever like that. 
but it needs to be purposeful. And maybe the art style in that is purposeful, but it doesn't work. It does, you know, it doesn't work for me. Um, it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna hold my attention well enough. But I like checking in on it, you know, because it's like I appreciate that a developer went and did something sort of different. Like they took the sort of JRPG standards and then like, you know, tweaked and, and added and sort of you know messed with things a little bit. That's that's cool. I'm glad. I am glad games like Undertale exist. I'm glad there's developers out there doing stuff like that. But there's just too many games to play everything. I'm already playing a lot. Uh, Alright. Um, Iron Republic. Yeah, we need to talk about that. Fragments. Fuel. Alright, is that all of them? Is it all the port reports? No, I got more. Alright, let's just get through these. Um. All right. Does the admiral have anything for me? I can trade favor with them for for fuel. I could talk to him about moves in the great game, but I don't want to do that. I want to use I want to use that for the tattoo. Let's um. Let's get that tattoo before I forget about it. Which one is it? The Gambit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of Clathermon's tattoos are coded messages for spies. Perhaps you have a hidden motive. Yeah. Increase, uh, increase my pages. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clathermont hums. Is that butter on the chest knight's head? She shrugs. The ways of the great game are tangled. She doesn't seem to be mocking you. A pop-eyed pole across the parlor sees your new tattoo, hisses, and ducks his head in respect. So I gain new pages. Um, pages, uh, esoteric and occasionally practical knowledge. Increases the speed at which we convert fragments to secrets. <clears throat> so, down here is our, um, our fragments meter or whatever gauge. Uh, so when I find things, I gain fragments. When this fills up with fragments, I get a secret. Secrets are kind of like my, uh, like, level up points that I put into things to increase my stats. They can be used for other bits too, but that's, that's their main sort of purpose that I found. So I lost some terror, which is good, because I was getting a little high. And I got some more pages. Good. Um, I appreciate Delta Rune better. Which is the Undertale? Delta Rune is prettier and more smooth. Delta Rune. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I'll uh, I'll definitely check it out. I'm always always curious about other other games and things that are out there. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, the alarming scholar, perhaps. Oh, right. I can trade in all sorts of stuff. And this increases my... What does it increase? It increases one of my, like, favors. But I don't know what it does yet. Um, is it under journal? Yeah, it increases my antiquarian. I don't know what that earns me yet with anyone. Hmm... And I don't want to hand in all of these because I can use them at different points. Captivating treasure. See, I could trade it in here, but I bet I could also sell it at some point, and I don't know what's more important, you know? Ooh, pretty. Wait, what's pretty? Which thing was pretty? <laughs> I've said it before, but I really like the way, like, this inventory system is kind of like, like, you get an inventory box for questline stuff. Little dude up there. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, God. Offer the scholar an intriguing snippet. Maybe this. This one will do very well shared. Thank you, your payment. Alright, well, I got some echoes. More, more antiquarian. Hmm. I'll do a Z story, I guess. Alright, that upped my antiquarian to four. Alright, well, I'll leave that and I'll I'll continue on. Again, I don't want to spend all of my all of my memories and stories yet, because I want to be able to use them. And this captivating treasure I'm not ready to part with yet. Because it's the only one I've ever found. Um Supplies for the work. Deliver supplies. She hisses with a delight as she examines what you've brought. Yes. Yes, this brings the day much closer. Here. We won't insult you with payment, but we brought supplies to defray your costs. And these souls, they are our gratitude. They were donated freely. Do what you will with them. Lo, thy dread empire, chaos is restored, light dies before thy uncreating world. Okay, the anarchists. I don't know. Oh god. I now have one crate of human souls, clinking, glowing, pleading. I don't know... I gained a lot of fuel. Wow. I gained supplies. And favors with the calendar council. Okay, so that was a thing from... Uh... The iron... The iron whatever. Hmm. But now I have a crate of human souls, which I believe... I'm not supposed to have. I feel like that's contraband. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with it. I, man, I remember there was one port... Someone somewhere was willing to buy souls. <laughs> yeah, it did escalate quickly, didn't it? <laughs> that gave me... Look, I'm back up to 17 fuel. And I didn't even spend any money yet. So I'm pretty much all stocked up there. I still don't have any of these things at the Roser's Wharf. This is like a specialty market. I don't have any of those things yet. I could spend the free evening to... Maybe bring new buyers. Something else that maybe I have. Puppet plays press and uninterrupted. Personal collections grow. Words written in fogged mirrors are hastily wiped away. The exotic exchanges pollinate dreams. Alright, so it's changed. Yeah, it did exactly what I expected. It, it changes what they're looking for, but I still don't have any of the things. That's fine. Um, let's read the papers and get some more recent news. Gain supply, lost terror, got recent news. I can pass recent news on to other islands. Um, potentially trade information. Um, I probably should get a restful night, because I do have a nightmare, uh, following me. Ten echoes? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I got rid of two, two menaces. Whatever that, whatever that was doing. Um, alright, back to the rest of the city. I think we're almost done here. I need to, I need to, um, fix my ship. All right, I can spend 75 Echoes, and they might not fix it all the way. I can spend 100 to completely repair, or I can use three... Yeah, okay, we're going to use my Admiralty uh, favor, and I can get a cheap full repair. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Seems worthwhile. That's the main thing I've been using my, my Admiralty favor for, is is, um, fixing my ship. Okay. What do I have in my hold? Anything good? I have this crate of human souls, which I don't really like carrying around. I'm pretty good on supplies and fuel. I don't know what these candles do. So I'm not really sure what to do with them. Probably should buy one just to have... Okay, Birkin of Prisoner's Honey. Where was that needed? 
We're gonna buy it. I can't remember... Do you guys remember where I said the Firkin of, of Prisoner's Honey was needed? Was it at the Mushroom Island? Oh, it looks like a crate of human souls is okay. I could sell it right here, but I wonder if it's useful. You think it was at the Mushroom Island? Hmm. Where could I use human souls, I wonder? I wonder if they can, I can sell them to the clay men? I wonder if the clay men need human souls to become alive. You just want me to go back to Mushroom Island, that's all you want. Oh, hey, Ambient. Crate of Brilliant Souls is the contraband. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for the information. And welcome. Welcome to the stream. Um, are you following Sunless Sea specifically on Twitch? Or did you uh, catch one of my shouts on someone's Discord? Right, I'm pretty full up now, but that's okay. Um... I think we're good here. Let us... Let us embark. And I guess we'll head... Wait, where is that place? Why is it not on here anymore? The Mushroom Island. It was like right over here. Why is it not on my map anymore? That's really weird. I wonder if it's because I had the mushroom... ...mess with my maps? Well, either way, I know it was like right down here. It's, it looks like it's right there. Magical moving mushroom island. It's a long trip, but that's okay. We'll, we'll cut through here. We'll cut through here and get some more um, information about this whole area. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a fine trip. I still don't have a cook. Uh, since I lost... Since I lost my previous cook. I wonder if I should have sold those... those souls. I just, I feel like when I find something like that, I should use them for something other than getting echoes. You know, it's like, I'll get echoes many ways, I'm sure. But, like, having an item, if I can get something special, like some sort of, like, story part, or, you know, like whatever, seems like the better way to go. Hold on. Was I supposed to... There was something on the Isle of Cats. Here, hold on. I'm gonna stop at Abbey Rock. Because I remember the Isle of Cats had... Um, it had sisters on it that originally came from Abbey Rock. So I want to see if anything unlocked here. Uh, let's get a report. I have news that I can bring them. I can watch the Covenant. The muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to news of a marsh bee's predations in the traffic of the rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing. The blessing reassures your crew. Alright. Lost in terror. Like huge and deadly herons, the sisters stalk along the very tops of the walls. You watch through a spyglass as they leap and whirl, slashing each other with a variety of frightening weapons. God! One of them just turned a somersault. Get some fragments. Alright. Nothing special going, off there, going on there. We'll kill this thing, lose some terror, maybe eat a meal. 
No one sees me. It's close. Close one. There we go. Saves one of my supplies. Station three. I don't think I can do anything there. That was a, um, there's a, that's the prison, I think. It's also where that student was like messing around with those, um, those spikes, which show him the, he's like stabbing himself with those needles and like seeing history. Something like that. I am still confused about why why this thing disappeared off my map. I assume it's still there. It's gonna be really weird if it's not there anymore. Is webbed with invisible lines, you've crossed one. Tighten them, it would split like a fruit. Damn phone calls. Yeah! Tell those people to stop calling you, you're busy. <laughs> busy hanging out, watching cool games. I hope everyone's having a good Monday. I am. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for hanging out. Just taking a little trip. Taking a little trip back down to the mushroom land. What was it called? Utter Shroom? Oh shit. You don't see me, I don't exist. Can't eat War Trireme? Tremarian? Definitely don't want to fight that. Yeah, Utter Shroom is still here. I don't know why, why like the fog of war reappeared on my map. Um. Okay. Yeah. Ah, you return again. You want more Blemigan? We have more Blemigan. Many, many Blemigan. I'm curious why the Blemigan Gallivanter doesn't want to leave. Here are the piled slabs of mauve fungus flesh, atop them like an attentively, uh, attentive dog on a plinth, a watchful Blemigan. They want new places, the Shroomer explains. Too many Blemigan here. Plant them in six more new places, Mother will be pleased. Hmm. I guess I should have grabbed more honey, shouldn't I have? Okay. This is the village. The central contradiction of Shroomer existence. They hate the Utter Shroom, but they do anything to avoid leaving. Today, they're telling the story of how they came here. Features a shipwreck, a rain of orange jewels, the Mother's Blessing. There's a great deal about adversity and survival, and wistful hints about their homeland, somewhere to the west. Okay. Well, I got another guy. Another... Another Blemigan to drop. Um, let's, let's continue to the east, I guess. Southeast. Away we go. What, um... Hold on. 
What is my actual... I forgot what I picked for my objective. Become... I don't know. Just ambition. Become Lon London's most venerated explorer. Okay. I'll also have to find Mount, uh, Mount Palmerston to get the strategic information and continue the salt lions. Hmm. Right. Yeah, good old Blemigan. I don't know if that word means something in reality that I'm not familiar with, but... I like that it's not just mushrooms. They have, like, a special name. Alright, let's sneak through this fog bank. <clears throat> I still feel like I am quite a ways away from being able to get a new ship. And we got a supply ship that probably sells very expensive fuel and supplies, so let's not do it at the moment. Look at these, what are these bird things? Oh god! Oh god! No! They have a lot of health. They have a lot of health. Oh my god. This might be bad. This might be bad. Oh no. I can't get away from him. I can't get away from him. No! This is how it ends. This is... No! <laughs> Your ship founders, there are screams, a flood of dark water, the unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. That was it. That whole playthrough, and I just stumbled into birds. And I don't have a will. I died. Oh my god. No more sleep. My second, second captain has been lost to the Unter Z. Oh my goodness. Captain Marcus, in memoriam. I did, I got killed by burbs. Goodness God. I mean, I'm not mad. I saw the birds, I thought I, I couldn't attack them. It said I couldn't attack them, so I must need a different type of gun. I guess you live and you learn, and you die. So what should I pass on? 50% of iron value in one weapon. That's pretty big. I'm not going to pass on the chart. That's what I did last time. But passing along that weapon... That seems like a big deal. Pass along an officer, but I don't know if I care about that. Ah oh, man, so many cool stories happened! No, nah, I think I want that weapon. That's that's a big deal to me, I think. Um, and I keep some of the iron. 26. 50% of the iron value is only one iron? Oh, okay. <clears throat> right, because I had like 50-something iron... So it just busts, it doesn't add 50%, it just puts me to what 50% of the iron bill. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, I want to accept. See, look at all these things. Carry a lost sister, like there's all these legacy qualities. You raise a child and bring it gifts from the sea. 
Interesting. There's like just lots of cool stuff going on. So there it was. Lunchtime? Yeah, no problem, wine game. Um, I'm probably gonna take a brief break. Yeah, raise a child. I don't know. I did have a lover in my um in that last playthrough. So um so I think this is a good time to take a quick break. Since I'm gonna be starting a new captain. Uh, so I think I will change games. It used to add, but you could cheat and just pass the stat down over and over. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, Ambient. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a good idea to change it, honestly. Um, I'm glad I got... This. See, I never played this game until, um, it released fully. So, I'm glad I weighed in this. And actually, I got this because I, I heard about Sun of the Skies... And I didn't want to play that during Alpha. And I know it releases semi soon, so this was like a good. I wanted to see what their their final rendition of this game was before I jump into Sunless Sky. So I think I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'm gonna have some lunch, and then we're gonna come back. And I think we're gonna start Shadow Warrior. I think Shadow Warrior Two is what we're gonna do for the uh, the rest of today. Um, so uh, if you like what you're seeing, please by all means give me a follow. Um, I'm gonna be doing bits of Sunless Sea, and my main let's play is gonna be Shadow Warrior Two for the meantime. Uh, and then I'm probably going to do more community games uh, on Friday. Um, yeah, Skies looks really cool. Um, I like the sort of like space kind of thing a little bit more than the Cthulian deal. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, I will be back in 20 minutes, probably. Uh, if I don't see you, I hope I see you again soon. Otherwise, stick around and uh, we'll play games in a couple minutes. Alright, see you soon.